The incident management process is designed to manage the incident life cycle. Incidents can be tracked throughout their life cycle to support proper handling and reporting of an incident. By capturing sufficient and relevant detail, it will aid in the diagnosis of the incident or if it requires any escalation. In order to create an incident, select Incident on the left-hand side of the navigator and select Create New. Select the contact type. Identify the caller. Select the appropriate category and subcategory. If available, also fill in the field for the configuration item, which would be the user's PC. The state of an incident indicates where it is in the relation to the life cycle and helps determine what the next step in the process might be. Determine the impact and urgency of the incident. Select the assignment group so that the ticket can be seen collectively and can be assigned to the available staff. Create a short description it's best to describe the problem with concise keywords. In the middle, you'll be able to see available and related knowledge base articles. The bottom portion of the incident will have comments that are visible to customers or work notes, which is only visible to ETS staff. We can also add additional attachments by clicking the paper clip at the top and selecting our file and we can also drag and drop if we wish. The file attached is available at the top. On the next tab we can relate this incident if there is a, an existing problem and the next tab over would be the closure information. Once I'm satisfied with the resolution of the incident, I can select the resolution code and document the notes for the resolution of the incident. Change the state and select resolve. Now this will notify the customer and provide them with a status update.